Karat. Interesting topic. You have to pick a very challenging topic. Happiness. This gentleman is a multidisciplinary artist who breathes, lives, and eats all things aesthetic. He creates happy pieces with a story to tell, betting on novelty and fresh ideas. He's a graduate from RMIT uh, with a bachelor's degree in design. He's been in the design and art field for over 20 years. Of course, he's experienced, versatile, actively involved in the Singapore and international art and design scene. Uh, a number of different areas. He can design brand, furniture, jewelry, product, wow. sculpture. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. He's quite talented. Yes. Commission National Sculpture for Total Defense Day 2010. Wow. Wow. He's really good. Let's invite KC Chen. Yeah. Stress, very stress. <laughs> yes. Okay, say no okay, I'd like to apologize. Okay. Being very late to uh, give my uh, speech to Mr. Gay. Right, and uh, this is something that I'm going to talk about. My topic today is to change to be on time, not happiness. I was researching on happiness for a while and I want to write about it. And want to when I start when I start talking about happiness, it's like wow, seven minutes is not enough. But having said that, today's topic will be beyond time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you one simple question about time. Okay, when you start work at 9 o'clock, what time should you reach work? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. You know? Yeah. Yes. The fact is, you should reach your work before 9. Yeah. And it's like the best time is before like 9, say 8.45. Yeah. You reach your work, you still have to go to your washroom, you eat your breakfast, you know. Then your computer is on. You sit down, get ready, 9 o'clock, you start work. That is called integrity. This is how things are work. This is how practice are. But it's so easy to say, but it's so difficult to practice. But how do I come to about to talk about that? So when I tell other people about be on time and stuff like that, people will start to, uh, are you on time yourself? Are you this? Are you that? So they will start to judge and defend themselves. And so it's also another very interesting topic that that uh, it took me a long time to, to write this book that is for adults in a children's way which I'll be reading for you this one. Okay, let me see. Bob the Rabbit. Uh, I hope I'll, I'll just throw, okay? Now Bob the Rabbit. I I do not know how to can I uh no, you have to use it. Because the controller is better. PDF. Oh, it's PDF. No, I'm so sorry. No. Uh, okay, uh, we will just continue. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You really scroll for me. Sure. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Okay, this is Bob. He is a rabbit. Speech. <laughs> I'll just scroll this way here. Don't worry. I'll, I'll do this. Alright. Now, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, 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 I'll. We'll just, we'll just uh, work on this, okay? He's a rabbit. Now I can't scroll. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. This is number one lesson. We should be early. I should be early enough to do this here. Alright. Now. I would like to see the text below, yeah, so everybody can see. Right, yeah. Bob is always late. Next. Okay. Everyone dislikes him being late, but he has no idea. Next. His boss is very unhappy because he's always late for work. And he takes and his tasks are never wrong time. One day, he received a final warning from his boss to be on time. Bob is very sad. 
His close friend decides to give him a gift. Bob, this will help you keep your time. His friend gives him a watch. Bob is very happy. Bob keeps to his time closely and he, he, he is seldom late now. He respects his friends. When he is late, he will call his office to let them know. His boss is happy now. With his newfound habits, he managed his time well. Boss received bigger projects and even a promotion. His friends even gave him the title Beyond Time, a rabbit that keeps his time. Okay, now. All right. Now, so I, I wrote this short story, right? In place in everything. When we say beyond time, can we be late? Yes or no? no. Yes. We just have to inform someone that we will be late. You see? If you are late without knowing, it means that you do not respect the person that you are meeting. Or the project that we are handling. Or the company that we are working for. You see? So, is it okay? Well, it's okay to apologize. So, when we go out, to see your friends and things like that, and we will see that. Oh, it's, we're supposed to meet at 9, and I call at 9.05. Sorry, Mr. Gay, I'm going to be late. Right. We, we, it happens to me this way, you know. But when we actually do that, by respecting time, right, I want to take this, let you bring this back. You do this at home now, you do this when you get back. Your friends will love you more. Your boss will know that you love you more. You get more projects done, then your projects will get bigger. Thank you very much. I realized that I forgot to be so quick. Pick anyone. Me too, evaluator. Marshall, only have to be quick. What's that? And Richard, can you be the second one? Yeah. Okay. Can you paying attention, Richard. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my impression of the presentation today. First of all, as you know, he came in, in, into the meeting late, so I, the first thing I said to myself, how can he tell us to be on time? And he's <laughs> but what I liked about the presentation was, was the, the simple graphics. I thought the graphics were simple, but what I was not so happy about was that he read them. It was like he was cheating. I think that he could have put the presentation up here, but he could have kind of talked through the presentation as the presentation was going, and instead of turning his back and reading, because I thought that when he turned his back, he lost his, his, his audience eyes. But, all, but I thought the story was great. I thought he was, he was a warm, I thought he was sincere. Actually, I thought he was sincere, and I thought that he really meant what he said. When he ended his presentation, he told us what the benefits were. But this was very important. Because you can give a presentation and we know how we're going to use it or how it's going to benefit us. So that part I thought was very, very well. Again, I'm going to do a presentation with PowerPoints. OPS. Practice before you give a presentation. Because if you don't practice, you, you, you lose a lot of time like you did today. We were all waiting for this to happen, and there was technical difficulty after technical difficulty. But once again, I, I thought the presentation was well, well, well organized. I thought his volume was nice. I thought the story was nice, and I really loved the message that he gave us in the end. sessions uh, where you did the job. And I thought that you're very confident and uh, you have the background as a trainer. But nevertheless, I thought the body language and the connectivity, you must excite people. Use your personality. Use your vocal variety. 
because some people will probably they like to watch you that uh, are you giving me something tonight that I can bring home. Like what Mr. Gay said, that if not your speech will not be effective. But nevertheless, you did a very good job tonight and you're getting better and better. Thank you. Please continue. Thank you. Thank you. Why no applause for me? Yeah. <laughs> Casey, this is the first time I saw somebody using slides by getting someone to throw it. He <laughs> <laughs> can't throw properly and this is quite a mess. This is very, very badly done. I would not recommend to use this way. As Cooper, Marsha said, Marsha Cooper, you were standing here and all the time, slide after slide, you were reading. Reading this. This is no good. What you could do is you have to read the words, have the story, then you speak, telling the story. That would be much better. Otherwise, if you want to read, everybody can do that. Why don't you say, everybody, why don't you read from here? It's one after another, the slide, I can everybody read. So just one practice. One. The preparation, everything, I think the two ingredients is give you fantastic feedback. It's all there already, the group point especially. Come early. You cannot talk about uh, <laughs> the time that you are late. You know, that's, that's the difference. You can, cannot be done very On the whole, I think the pictures are very nice. Yeah. You have a book to sell? Is that I a book? Okay. Yeah. You were saying that this is for adults, right? Yeah. But it's so childish for adults. It's so like. No, it's for kids. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Uh, adults. 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 Yeah. Adult. Yeah. So this uh, may not be suitable for adults. No, like adults. Of, uh, <laughs> 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 Animals without clothes. Animals without clothes. Animals without clothes. If for adults you cook without clothes and you are topless, <laughs> everybody buys. You <laughs> said <laughs> It's very colorful, it's very colorful. Except the way it's done, I think it's, it's Okay, right? Okay. So, anybody still give him a round of applause like that?